فائده كثيره يا ده لا لا اللي طلع كان خفيف الاول فرقعتنا ريس واو الله اكبر الله اكبر There are awful images coming in from Beirut tonight after a massive and deadly explosion. Buildings destroyed, at least 60 dead, more than 3,000 injured, and those numbers are expected to rise right into the night. And just before we came on this evening, President Trump said this looked like a terrible attack, in his words. But what authorities in Beirut are now saying about early clues of a cause. Here's our senior foreign correspondent, Ian Panel, tonight. This was the moment an entire city shook to its core as a massive explosion erupted in Beirut port. The blast occurring around 6 p.m. local time. Eyewitness video showing a fire and a series of smaller detonations and confirmed reports suggesting perhaps fireworks. But what happened next was far bigger. A devastating explosion sending a mushroom cloud across the city. The fronts of buildings ripped off. Cars, shops, apartments shattered. The streets showered with debris for miles around as blooded and shell-shocked citizens staggered through blackened streets. Hospitals are overwhelmed with casualties. The Lebanese health minister saying scores are dead and thousands injured. The healthcare system already overwhelmed by rising COVID infections and an economy in freefall. Tonight, the questions begin about what caused the blast and who's responsible. Just unbelievable pictures tonight. Ian with us from London tracking this. And Ian, President Trump, as I mentioned, uh, just said, quote, it looks like a terrible attack. We know that other US officials have called this a horrible tragedy. Uh, so what do officials in Beirut say right now was behind this blast? Yeah, well, David, firstly, they're not suggesting that it was an attack. It's now pointing towards being just a tragic, terrible accident. The country's interior minister saying that highly explosive material may have been stored on the site, even pointing towards ammonium nitrate, which is highly combustible, often used in bombs and in sufficient quantities capable of causing this level of massive destruction. David. All right, Ian, our thanks to you tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.